What's going on, y'all? Thanks for checking in with Cali. Please like, subscribe if you haven't. So, another back-to-back -back for the Clippers. You know, they played the Bulls last night. Kawhi came back, which was, you know, uh, definitely a blessing. And um, good to see him, you know, trying to get out there and play through the injury. Hopefully, it doesn't bother him too much. But he said it really wasn't a back spasm. You know, he spoke on it and said it kind of was like, you know, tightness or something like that. Just got some treatment, you know, took some medicine and uh, got some rest. And it, 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 it and he was able to make the road trip with the uh, Clippers. So that's definitely a good thing because this, this road trip is kind of huge for them. And um, the fact that actually seeing him out there definitely makes a huge difference also in regards to the team and what their, you know, desires are and start. In, in regards to winning a championship because health is definitely going to be the biggest key of course of them winning a championship and having your star player going out there sacrificing and being the best he can be and playing at the high level that he did after that back spasm you know it just really resonates and shows what type of player Kawhi Leonard is you know despite what the media might put out about him at times or have put out about him at times but um, these back-to-backs I'll tell you the, I said in the beginning of the season, you know, um, you, you've seen a video with me post about that in regards to the scheduling. I feel like they did this to the Clippers because I don't know what the reason is, but but damn, it's definitely not fair. It doesn't it definitely doesn't seem fair for them anyway, because they're older players and stuff like that. But I mean, of course, the schedule is the schedule. We can't make any excuses for that. But it just seems like, damn, the Clippers really have a hard road here at the end of the season. And this really can take a toll on their body just because they're older players and they've been in the league longer. So the Clippers are going to have to find a way to get balance you know, out these last several games. I mean, they can lean on Kawhi, PG, all that stuff, but you're going to have to get balance out these other guys and let some of these younger guys play like the Brandon Bostons and get some of these guys in there and take a few low, take a few minutes, you know, off of the, the, the main players on the team, you know, take a load off of them because, I mean, they, they're going down a stretch where they're not only facing good teams, but at the same time, their back-to-back -back nights are kind of crazy. Like, in the, uh, I think the other night, you know, uh, they had played, what was it, last week, I think, um, they basically played like two games in 22 hours like that's definitely like man it's crazy you know what i'm saying so i mean they have to really kind of get more balance offensively and definitely balance defensively and going forward they're going to really need a lot of that because like i said you don't want to put too much on Kawhi and pg especially because of their injury history and on top of that you know you still got to think about james harden he's had hamstring issues and things like that in the past and and westbrook is out right now until further notice so with that being said you know they have to kind kind of you know like i said the bounce of scoring the bounce of power is just gonna have to be there ty Lue is gonna have to try to you know get more out of the other guys now bones has been playing pretty decent he played really good actually uh last night against the bulls so hopefully they got a back-to-back -to -back tonight going against the pelicans so hopefully he can you know embark his his will on this game and actually you know help the uh scoring low for you know Kawhi and or PG because there should just be some nights where you know other guys can kind of take over the scoring low and maybe you know PG and Kawhi could have a 19 18 point night and they actually win because they have that type of depth when you think about their team and all the pieces that they have and to have somebody like Norman Powell coming off the bench you know he's actually a starter on most teams so Norman Powell can come off the bench and give you 20 plus points easily so I mean the fact that you got somebody a six man off the bench who can score like that that takes a lot of pressure off you know the main guys at times as well James Harden didn't actually play last night and that actually you know against the Bulls that actually was kind of like a blessing in disguise because when you watch the Clippers play last night I mean Kawhi and PG were able to kind of move a little bit better it looked like you know for a while what's going on with the Clippers that might be you know somewhat of an issue is it's like you know Kawhi and PG are just catch catch and shoot guys now it's almost like they're three and D guys to a point rather than the superstar type talent guys that they really are simply because the ball's in James Harden's hands and I mean you know he is a decent point guard I'm not going to say he isn't but the ball being in his hands sometime really is a gift and a curse for them because it like it really kind of you know limits them only like one direction and then you know with Paul George and Kawhi kind of like being three and D guys to a degree like catch and shoot it, it doesn't really help their it doesn't it doesn't like help their game evolve as the game goes on it makes them really more stagnant as the game go on because it's like you look at Paul George sometimes he's like posted in a corner or posted the elbow and you know Kawhi had the ball or maybe like hard to pass him the ball pass to Kawhi and then Kawhi you know he's a team player he'll drive to the basket and just to draw a double team and kick it out to Paul George so he can knock down the three 
But whereas, you know, and then it might be a reverse situation where Paul might have the ball and then find, you know, Kawhi and Kawhi's in the corner or maybe at the top of the key and catch and shoot and knock down a three. But they really don't need to run their offense too much like that because it really makes it predictable. That's the reason why I said they need more balance in their offense. You got to have Kawhi and PG moving around a little bit and actually catching the ball where they like it so they can take guys off the dribble and go more to the basket rather than just find themselves wide open for threes because as i said before if you live by the three you die by it so a lot of the plays and things and the sets that ty Lue is drawing up for them just because james harden is there and want him to run the system 100 percent sometime it'll be better like if you know terrence Mann brings the ball up and let james harden run off of a maybe not run off a screen or something like that but maybe possibly so run off a screen or have him posted up in the corner where he can catch and shoot for three since james harden is not really as aggressive as he used to be with the basketball going to the basket as he once was with Houston you know what I'm saying kind of mix it up some because it just looks all ball dominant with James Harden and just passing the Kawhi or PG and they isolate turn around fade away or they just catch and shoot like three and D guys it's not really going to work that way you kind of got to be able to mix it up a little bit more and make the other team's defense kind of like look at your offense as unpredictable rather than being predictable so hopefully those things actually pan out because like I said you know with um, several games left in the season they definitely need to figure out other ways to get scoring from others and have others contribute in ways to where just in case Kawhi and PG have an off night or two something like that in the playoffs and don't really you know play the, uh, to the expectations or something like that they should every single night you have other scoring that can make up for what they don't do and you can still win games and which will put you in a better position to win a championship mm-hmm.